Good morning. This is Saturday the 16th, and I'd like to invite you to church first thing. Today, I want to invite you to church for tomorrow. Uh, we're at 115 and 202, and uh, if you don't have a church, we'd love to see you and uh, visit with us. If you're a part of our church but haven't been here a while, I hope you come out. And if you do have a fellowship that you haven't been to in a while, I, I pray that you go out to that fellowship. Also, the packing party is today at 1 o'clock. Again, we're filling shoe boxes to send all over the world. We pray over them, fill them with wonderful little things for the kiddos, and it is a wonderful time. So hope to see you at 1. Today's devotion is still human. This is Corinthians, 1 Corinthians uh, 10. Whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. The great marvel of the Incarnation slips into ordinary childhood. The great marvel of the Transfiguration vanishes into the demon-possessed valley. The great glory of the Resurrection descends into breakfast on the seashore. The flow of these events is not an anticlimactic moment. It is the great revelation of God. It's simplicity for whosoever will. I love that about God's Word. All these stories he's talking about is of Jesus' birth and and going into hell to fight for us, and then the next day winding up on the shore of the lake serving breakfast to the men. There's a simplicity that brings about whosoever will. Anybody can find this. That's why he does it this way. We have a tendency to look for marvels in our experience, not simplicity. We mistake a sense of the heroic for being heroes. It's one thing to go boldly through a crisis, and another to go through the everyday glorifying God when there's no limelight and no one there to impress. If we don't want halos about our heads, we at least want someone to say, what a wonderful man of prayer he is. What a devoted woman of God she is. If we are rightly related to Jesus, we have already reached a sublime height where no one even thinks of noticing us. And there, there is so much freedom in that, folks. When you ain't going to worry about somebody giving you accolades or patting you on the head, there is so much freedom. All they notice in our presence is the power of God coming through us all the time. In other words, they don't see us, they see the Lord. It takes the Almighty God incarnate in us to enable us to do menial duties in His glory, wherein they will see Jesus. It takes God's Spirit inside us to make us so absolutely human that we are utterly unnoticeable. <laughs> I think that's a fantastic saying. We are so plain, so human that we are utterly unnoticeable. Boy, there's so much freedom there. The test of the life of the saint is not success. It's living faithfully in human life as it actually is in the everyday. We live victoriously in Jesus. We tend to hold up success in a Christian walk as the goal. The goal is to manifest the glory of God in our lives, to live a life hid with Christ in God in our human conditions. Our human relationships are the actual conditions in which the ideal life of God is to be exhibited. In other words, those everyday relationships we have at work, at the store, at home at the kitchen table, that's where we allow Jesus to be seen, the strongest. And that's the challenge. Can we go through the everyday with no limelight, no one to impress, and praise God and his son? Just go through the day, just average Joe, and just praise God. Boy, I'll tell you again, folks, there's great freedom there. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the simplicity of how you uh, brought salvation into the world. It was it was magnificent in its makeup, but it was every day, Father, and, and in that, anybody, whosoever will, can find it. So, Lord, today, let us walk humbly before you, and we don't need a limelight. We don't need to impress anybody. We just want to be Jesus to those around us in the everyday events of life. We love you, Lord, and we give you this day. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. God bless, and I'll see you on Monday.